Here is what is making my jaw drop every time. Just by loading this image into here without me having to do anything. Now, this is one of the things that has just been mind blowing to me. If you're ready to have your mind blown, buckle up and dive into this whole entire video because what I'm showing you today has made my jaw drop. This is incredible. And if I go down the list of AI apps that have recently impressed the heck out of me, there have only been a few. We have ChatGPT, Leonardo AI, Midjourney, Canva, and even recently Claude, just to name a few. But guess what? Today, I'm introducing a new contender to this elite club. And after you watch this video, I think you will too. The app or website I'm talking about today, it's called free pick. And to be honest, these new game-changing updates and features completely caught me off guard because they came out of nowhere. Today, it's all about their new AI features. And they took the ball and ran with it. Okay, the start, we're over here on freepick.com. And as you could see, just directly from their homepage, we could already notice that they already have a ton of helpful resources. However, there are way too many to go over in one video. So today, our focus is on the new AI tools. And then if I hover over the this section right here, you could see all of them. So we have AI image generator, reimagine, Picasso, mock-up generator, and photo editor. Now I'll show you all of these today, but today's primary focus for this video are gonna be two very impressive items. We're gonna look at the AI photo generation, and then we're gonna take a look at and try reimagine. In addition, I'm also gonna show you an amazing prompt generator that you can use and try for yourself that are gonna generate a ton of great looking, unique images, all simply based off of your subject and your specific style you provide it. So make sure you check the links in the description because I'll share that prompt generator as well as hundreds of other prompts you'll definitely want to try and then use for yourself. Okay, so back to free pick. Now, the first thing we're going to do, let's head over to AI image generator. So I'm going to click this tool right here. And then as I scroll down, you could also see some of the other things it's going to provide you. So we have AI text to image, sketch to image, mock-up generator, and photo editor. And not only that, they also have a ton of very helpful items. Now, if I come over here to images in the top corner, if I select AI images and then go to all their AI images, you can actually download a lot of AI generated images. But what makes this so awesome is, is that if I click on one of these topics like photorealistic, if I come over here, they have this really awesome prompt detail box on the right hand side. It's really going to help you generate some very good prompts, specifically if you're a beginner or you really don't know where to start. Okay, so now we're over here back in FreePix AI generating studio, and this is really where the fun is going to begin. So the first thing you'll notice is that you could see I've already been in here generating some amazing looking images. And what we're going to do is go over some amazing prompts to try. But first, look over here on the left-hand side. Just right off the bat, you have all these fantastic tools it's gonna provide you with. So you have everything from style, where you can select different design styles that you want your image to depict. Anywhere from photo to low poly, cyberpunk, cartoon, and comic. As you scroll down, then you also have different color selections. Anything from black and white, sepia, dramatic, and vibrant. And then below that, we're gonna have the lighting. These are gonna work perfectly to give you a very unique looking image. Very good options to help you start your creation journey. And I'm gonna show you right now how you're gonna get some fascinating looking images all by utilizing the same one promptly. So look how awesome and realistic these look. So here's a great example. I did this one earlier today, okay? Very simple prompt, beautiful woman, brown hair, forward facing, okay? These were just the generic images I got with no filters. But then above it, same prompt, I changed it up and I added the style of cyberpunk. And now look at these images I got. Fantastic and so easy to use. So if you notice on these first three rows, it's the same prompt, but now I just changed a few things up. So I have the default zero, then I have cyberpunk, and then this one at the very top, I added the style of cinematic. And now if I click it, look at this right here, it did a phenomenal job. And then from within this page right here in the top left-hand corner, this 
is where you can move on to other items. So right now we're in just the standard text to image. I could select sketch and then we also have enhance and then what I'll show you next, reimagine. But first let's go back to our text to image. Okay, now check this out. Here is the prompt I used at the very top. Now the first thing you're gonna notice is that once I generated this prompt, look at all of these options I got with it right away. Now this is a thing that is incredibly impressive. So look at this, we have one, two, three, four. So for each row, we're gonna get four images. And it's almost too many to count because as I continue to scroll down, look at this right here. It's like I'm getting unlimited amounts of images. So just with one simple prompt, the more I scroll, the more it's gonna populate in real time more and more images. Now this is one of the things that has just been mind blowing to me because I'm 100% or I guess nothing's perfect but 99.9% .9 guaranteed to really get the exact image I was looking for. So if I keep scrolling, it literally just doesn't stop. It's gonna continue to generate row after row and image after image. This is incredible. And then up here at the top, this is where you could change things up. So I could just select it now. If I change my style of cartoon, now watch this. Just with one click of a button, look at this right here. I just clicked the style cartoon. Now look, I'm getting same prompt, but now all of these amazing images. But now look at this. It is gonna be in that cartoon format. If I click it to expand it, there it is right there. Amazing. I could download it and then I can enhance it, reimagine it, and then draw over this image. So we'll get back to those in a second. But let's just try one more of these. Let's try comic now. Okay, one click of a button. I don't even have to select create again, but just instantly, so quickly, now I have these images in comic form. Now this is gonna come in so handy with just one click for all those people who wanna generate consistent characters, but now put them in a sort of different environment, all with the same prompt, but the character will remain consistent regardless of any sort of style that you choose. Button. So one last final one, I chose cyberpunk, look at this right here. Look how good this image looks. And you could see in real time that it was so quickly how these were generated. Now, the only differences between this page I'm on right here and the one you just saw where it's white is because we have two text to image ones. Here's the original one. But then if I click this one, it's going to take me to the beta one. And that's where I was able to actually get and see every image being generated in 100% real time. So for this prompt generator, we're going to head over here to my Leonardo AI mega prompts database. I have two data databases that are going to have a ton of prompts to use. So in this case, I'm going to use this Leonardo one because it really can be universal, but it has a lot of the Leonardo specific characteristics like fine tuned models, but the actual prompts can be used. Whereas the other one I have over here, this mega prompts database is going to contain everything for every platform and every app. Two databases with thousands of prompts that get added almost every single day. So for this one, I'm going to head over to prompt generators. Now, a prompt generator are basically prompts that generate prompts. And the one we're gonna try today is this one right here. Now remember, I'll put a link in my description, but let's just go ahead and copy this whole entire thing. What this is gonna do, it's gonna allow ChatGPT and Claude, we're gonna try this in both, to immediately give you 10 prompts, 100% related to your subject and the style of your choice. So for that, let's go ahead and head over to ChatGPT. Now, once I have my prompt copied, I'm simply gonna paste it in, okay? And here's what the prompt basically says. It's basically instructing it to, based off of the subject and style I provide to you, create me 10 different prompts. And then after those prompts are generated, it's going to ask me, would you like 10 more? We can continue this process until I'm satisfied with a specific prompt. So here we are. The only thing you have to enter at the very bottom are going to be two things, your subject and your style. In this case, I have supercar as my subject and my style is gonna be cinematic. Now, if we come back over here into free pick, that is where we can use these styles on the left-hand side as a good reference. I have cinematic chosen. However, cinematic in free pick is actually down here underneath the lighting selection, but it doesn't matter. You could use either or. So for now, let's just stick with cinematic and head back over to chat GPT and now hit enter. Now let's try the same thing first by going over to Claude and let's go ahead and then do the same exact thing. Okay, first in chat GPT, look how quickly it provides me with 10 prompts and it is doing exactly what I wanted. For example, prompt number two, supercar. 
and it also specifies that I want it to have cinematic characteristics. Let's just go ahead and then try number two. We'll try that one and we'll copy that. But first, let's head back over to Claude and then we could see here are 10 other prompts that Claude has given us here. But for now, let's just go over here and then test this out, okay? Here is this prompt of the supercar. Now, let me make sure I have my cinematic lighting selected in the bottom left-hand corner. And then once I have a specific characteristic or style selected, you'll notice over here, it now says that, okay? If I take cinematic off, it's gone. If I add photo, it appears right next to the prompt on the left-hand side, and you could actually have more than one. For now, I'll just leave it as cinematic, and let's go ahead and now select generate. Okay, now look how amazing that diesel look. This took literally six seconds, okay? It says six seconds ago. Now, look at these images right here. I, go, I can go through a few of these, and then it's giving me exactly what I was wanting. Now, again, same thing. Watch this. Let's deselect cinematic. Now, let's do this with cyberpunk wow amazing now you could see here this one only took eight seconds same exact prompt but i just toggled a new style and made it cinematic look at this right here these are amazing okay now for that let's come over here into the beta section for text to image same exact prompt let's go ahead and now hit create here now here is where our landing spot is to where we're gonna get basically unlimited amounts of prompts i have this one for cyberpunk still selected but again let's Let's change things up a little bit in our style and now remove cyberpunk right here and now let's change it to just photo and with one click of a button instantly look at this right here now we're getting ones of photo i took off photo digital art immediately infinite amounts of images because the more i scroll the more and more images and rows get populated amazing but here's the cool part now i could select color and get pastel colors now watch this so I still have my style as digital art, but now I have a color selected and now it's giving me these pastel powder type colors. And so now I have panoramic styles and now I'm going to change it up to 3D color. I'm going to go ahead and take off pastel and then framing. I'm going to make cinematic and then for lighting, I'm going to add studio lighting. So look at this. I have three characteristics selected. I have a style framing and lighting. So we have studio for lighting, we have framing, cinematic, and style, we have 3D. And then just like that, look at all these images I get instantly. Okay, so that was just the AI image generation part right there. Incredibly impressive. You could see how you can get so many different styles. But now let's move on to what really blows my mind, and that's gonna be reimagine. Okay, so back in free pick, top left-hand corner, let's now go down to where it says reimagine. Now this is in beta, but watch this. Let's start by doing this, by clicking and dragging an image in here. Okay, so I'm simply bringing my image in here, and I'm just gonna let go. You can see it populates right here within this window, and now it's analyzing my image. Now check this out. Here's my image. Here is what is making my jaw drop every time. Just by loading this image into here, without me having to do anything automatically gonna give me a large variety of images to choose from so as an example let me give you my image here is my original image that i just clicked and dragged into free pick okay i had to do nothing else but just by doing that i now have all of these other variations that it's given me now here's the impressive part over here on the left hand side Look at this. This is going to be comparable to utilizing like the mid journey describe command, but I actually have to do nothing just by clicking and dragging my image in here on the left hand side. I now have the prompt. So now it's telling me what prompt was actually used to generate this image. I did nothing. This is going to work fantastically well. If you discover an image from Google Images or an other AI art creation, you don't need to know the prompt. Just click it and drag it into Reimagine. It's going to give you what that prompt is. But it doesn't stop there. Below that, we have styles now. Now from here, I can also select a completely different new style. Watch this. Let's do cartoon, okay? And then below that, we have imagination. Subtle, vivid, and wild. But look at this. Now, I added no prompt. All I did was upload an image. And now I'm getting all of these new looking images in more of a cartoon format. And look at that. If I, if I click it, you can definitely tell this is going to be more of a cartoon. Amazing. And if I hover over on the left-hand side, imagination, look at this. 
This allows the AI to imagine additional details, achieving greater realism at the cost of moving further away from the original image. At higher values, the AI's creativity shines. Awesome. So now you can see why Reimagine has made my jaw drop, because it's going to be so incredibly convenient to A, find out any prompt that was used to create a specific image, but then B, get a plethora of different AI images, almost non-stop rolling images that you could choose from. Okay, so let's go back to FreePick and let's just go ahead, quickly take a look at these other options, okay? Right now, I'm on Sketch to Image. If you're familiar with Leonardo AI's Canvas, this is comparable to that. This is where you can do some painting and some drawing. On the left hand side, this is my taskbar and I can select a specific item. Say I take this jellyfish right here and I move it over further to the left hand side, okay? And now I move it further over to the right hand side. When I reach its final destination, look what it does. It actually moves it in the real image as well. I can do the same thing by deleting an item and it's going to remove it completely from the image on the right hand side as well. Okay, so to wrap things up, let's go back over to my Mega Prompts database and let's go ahead and then select a few different images to see how good of a job it can do. I filtered my prompts to only show animated Pixar style images and that's exactly what we're looking at right here. Very cute fox with big eyes. I have it pasted in, but remember, we're looking for a Pixar animation style. And so what we're going to do is select a few different styles on the left hand side. I have 3D selected, cartoon, and now let's see what this comes up with. Okay, now check this out. Look how amazing these look. I have two rows right here. The one at the top is made with 3D, studio lighting, and cinematic. The row below that, I have simply just the cartoon style selected. But if I expand it, look what an awesome job this did. Now, if I go to the beta version, look at this right here. So all I have, I have my style, framing, and lighting selected. And here is where then I'll scroll and get the infinite amount of images. If I click on this one right here, I can tell you what, this is gonna be hard to beat. This little Pixar animated cute fox looks incredible. And moving forward, if I wanted to use this prompt, I could select use this prompt. And now it's at the very top and I can reuse it and get new images and change up my style, color, framing, and lighting again even further. So what I love most about this are going to be just the almost infinite amount of images. Okay, now before we wrap it up, let me show you this one amazing tip and trick that you'll definitely want to use and try and free pick. So I actually got this tip over here on this Twitter account right here. So kudos to the creator who discovered this little tip. It's a mind-blowing trick that unlocks an endless array of visual combinations. You'll insert your options with braces and separate them with a separator and then you'll instantly craft multiple versions of a prompt, okay? And here is the example he provided. So what I did was I went ahead and I copied and pasted this example, this prompt right here, okay? A sophisticated whiskey sour mojito and I inputted it into free pick to see exactly what this meant. So if I go over to free pick, you could see I entered the prompt in. Now, this is what is so amazing. Now, when I'm getting these unlimited amounts of images, the images don't look the same as they did before. Now with this little trick, this does a fantastic job. You're gonna insert your options with these braces, with the parentheses, and then you're gonna separate them with this character right here, okay? So here's what he means. A sophisticated, parentheses, whiskey sour, okay? So every option or characteristic, separate it then. Okay, so there's that slash, mojito, martini, rum, punch. On A, okay, here are more parentheses, vintage wooden table, there's that separator, sleek modern bar, another separator, intimate table setting. So for every subject, put it in parentheses, as well as the style, separate that with that line character or the L, okay? And that's how you're gonna get same sort of characteristic, you're looking for whiskey sour mojito, right, on a vintage wooden table, but FreePix AI is intelligent enough to understand that by utilizing these different characters and parentheses, it now knows to provide you with something in the same similar realm, same sort of subject, but a complete different style and result, all while maintaining the same style of subject, and get more and more rows and more and more images at my fingertips that are being 
created literally in real time as we speak. This is gonna be so incredibly helpful because instantly just like that, I'm getting image after image, surely one is gonna fit exactly what I'm looking for. This really does impress me. Now, like I said before, this app offers so many new and amazing features. There are simply too many to cover today. So make sure you hit that subscribe button because moving forward, I'm definitely adding a lot more powerful features utilizing free pick. But let me know what you guys think. Have you tried this yet? And what are your thoughts from what you've seen about it so far? But thank you so much for watching this video. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time. The